Hello guys, I'm Rajnish and uh, today uh, I'm going to share with you how to spread and how to destruct object as well as array. So main purpose, uh, purpose of my uh, in this video is that uh, to share the knowledge I have and uh, to aware more and more people about the new technologies in JavaScript. So uh, this is uh, like uh, recent trends in ES6 of JavaScript where you can like a destruct or spread your object as well as your array so how you can achieve that and how you can like uh, make your code cleaner and uh, more efficient for your app so uh, let's start this uh, the tutorial here. so uh, first of all guys if you haven't subscribed my channel so please go and uh, subscribe my channel and share some uh, some love towards me so uh, for, uh, and uh, let's start this tutorial now. So here in this tutorial, I have used this uh, one JSON file to show you the exactly how spreading work with array as well as object. So here I have uh, created one uh, JSON within one object uh, with the key data. In the data, I have a total count and I have a list of uh, list of objects in array. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna show you first how to destruct object or how to spread object basically i'm going to do uh, operations on only objects for a, uh, for a first half okay so let's start and uh, let's first import my json file into my, uh, this file okay so here i'm going to use uh, just giving name as example from my example So here it is important okay now if i wanted to use it uh, i i have to you know, like i can just use it uh, however i want right so just confirm it is important you see here we have a lot so it is important right so like it is important right so uh now let's first do the destructing part so here in uh, in one object i have a data in, in instead of uh, like uh, inside of data i have a two keys total data as well as list so if i want to uh, uh, like a get only total count what would in a normal javascript you would do is uh, you will do something like this uh, constant total count and then uh, example dot data dot total count this is what in the normal way you do right now let me just console it out as well so yeah this is the right way you got your 10 but now if you wanted to have a list as well so you would do the same thing right uh, for a list as well okay. here you go you have a list as well as you have a total count but the thing is see uh, if you see if you look the code you have to write example dot data two times right and and, and sometimes uh, I, I have this static uh, JSON file okay but when you have like rest API it, it is not mandatory that you have a data inside inside of example every, every single time if uh, it is not there it, then it causes error right because you are accessing uh, total count from undefined objects then it will throw error to your like processing time so that is the problem and that is the case which you can face with this syntax so uh, with the new feature of es6 how you can how you can do like destructing okay so first of all like let me do the normal destructing uh, let me just comment it out so it just it won't bother us. Uh, okay, let me just first destruct data. So here this is the syntax of destructing uh, and data from example. So on the for, on the left side you uh, you will define your variable uh, within uh, if if this is the object then you have to like do the, the curly braces around your variable name and this is like mandatory that your variable name is uh, it has to be same as your key and you in your uh, object from which from which you are like destructing your uh, variable 
okay so let me just translate how it will it will show us the uh, the data object you can see right we have a data now if now if you want to more disturb from a data then what you will do is uh, here you have a list as well as total count count from data okay. so this will mistake both thing. you can see it here right oh no sorry i have a sorry yeah right say list and total count okay. so um you can now uh, see the difference between these two syntax okay uh, this is look like much more professional and mm -hmm. Measure coding okay. So, here is also another way to like uh, do the deep destructing. Uh, like, if you have an object inside an object and you wanted to access a uh, child of child node, right? So, how you can achieve that is uh, you can do directly like this you can do list and then you can do third account. This here you go you have now list and total count you don't have to write it two times okay? so this is the like uh, main use case of this destructing here is also one uh, one or two more use case of destructing is that uh, like uh, if we like look at the previous scenario where we have a data and uh, where we have first data destructed and, and then we are string list in total count right but if you like think about the scenario from your uh, of your uh, like when you integrate your rest api right it is not mandatory that you have uh, data every single time maybe some uh, some like like code bug like from backend bug or something you might won't get data from your response right and you are disturbing uh, undefined undefined object over here then it will throw you definite error so what you can do is uh, here in, uh, in like destructing uh, here in like destructing here you can define your default value like this so whenever you like try to destruct it it, it will just give you undefined value of this uh, variables it won't throw any exceptional error okay and as well as if you want to like uh, here if we have if you if you have a same object same static ob like object with a different name okay uh, okay let's just take it as example two okay and now if you wanted to have uh, both data in your app how would you do this step Disturb right for a disturb it is uh, uh, like they have a, like a simple rule that you have you can only define like you have to always define variable name same as the key so how so it won't be the possible to define two same name variable in a single in single function on so how you can change a name after destruction is that you can just simply write uh, data to after column so now the destruction of example 2 will contain in data data two. data of yeah, yeah got it right so uh, now if you look this in you can you will get the data two. So this is how you can uh, def uh, like uh, rename your variable after destruction. How you can define a default object. How you can uh, like um, how you can destruct uh, in a, in a deep uh, deep way. Okay. So this is the whole about object destruction. Uh, I think almost everything I have covered in. Uh, in this in this module so let's now look at uh, the about the array destruction how it will look and how it and what are the use cases of it okay so here we have we know this list of uh, list is uh, like array uh, like collection of objects okay 
so let's see how we can destruct it uh, on a first way let's me let me just remove my exam to from here it is not necessary uh, right now and now we have a list uh, okay now, now on a destruction we uh, we uh, we do in array is based on uh, like indexes okay so if we, if you wanted to have a uh, like a first index how you can have it is as a like uh, let me just here uh, here in array you don't have to write your name as your uh, like key name because uh, as you all know like array doesn't have any keep a particular have a uh, particular any nodes right it have like a default index keys but it is not like a defined key by you so uh, you can like define any name you want for your first index and uh, now if you do the list this is how you do uh, array destructing okay let me just consolidate out how it look okay Let's see in in your uh, console you got your whole first object only your first object see. Okay. so uh, this is how you can do uh, your uh, array destructing if you want uh, two then your three you can all you can have all your objects objects from your array so see no killer what and everything you uh, you have in your first three object is considered okay. so this is how you do array destructing now uh, now in a second uh, in, in like same as the same as we sh uh, show in show in uh, what do you call object you you can uh, like rename it over here but it, here it is not necessary to rename uh, name of your destructing uh, variable because uh, uh, you have the flexibility over here that you can write any name on a second time if you want to write like this you can just do it you don't have to add anything else okay so you don't have any uh, like boundaries to, to write same name for your like a, as your key while you do destructing okay so now next topic is that uh, spreading okay uh, the spreading is the uh, spreading is a uh, the thing which will like copy your object and just uh, like put it in your it will just make a copy of your object or array and where, wherever you want to put it you can just uh, like uh, have it over there okay so let me give you first example of uh, object spreading so how you can achieve that is now let's see i have uh, data okay the data is object right now that you all know now if i wanted to uh, like make copy of it uh, as uh, my results okay so what i'll do is i can just have uh, uh, i can just write it like this okay but what if i wanted to add one new extra key with uh, copying my data object so what i can do is uh, i can do like this i can just add three dots before my uh, before my already defined object and after then I can just to uh, write my new key as in like um, mm, dummy key let me just vary you as the as the empty okay. so now when we console the result it will give me the two uh, give me my actual data with the new key appended into it okay so this is how you do destruct uh, sorry spreading of object same goes for uh, list you can just do the same thing for list let me just uh, write error results and then uh, sorry results and then you can do the same thing over here and you can also add uh, 
let me add the string okay or other uh, thing other like other nodes was an object but here i'm adding a string okay so now when you console it out my ads index have a 45 as a string and the rest of our object as i have in my static json file okay so this is how you do spreading in array as well as in the object one another th uh, thing in the object you can do is uh, now sometimes if you wanted to have if you uh, like and sometime you wanted to like uh, accept it out one one sing one particular key right now let's uh, think uh, in that way is uh, you have a data object right in that data object you have a multiple keys like uh, total data list right now we have a two right but in the data object you only need a list you don't you don't want a uh, total count so how you uh, how you will remove that so you can remove by like this uh, let me just remove list from here first of all okay uh, uh, first you destruct total count from data and then you can just add uh, rest you can just like a uh, spread a rest variables and it will contain in a rest so if you now console uh, the rest you will just get list object inside uh, list array inside your data object so you can see the total count is dis disappear from uh, your list object so this is how you can like uh, you can like remove any particular particular uh, key from your object and same goes for array if we have uh, in right now if we have let me just if you have array here array over here and now if i now let's say if i wanted to remove my first array what will i do is same thing just right rest over here and so list okay now if you console the rest out then you will see you will have six objects now instead of seven uh, sorry you will have seven objects now instead of eight okay and your first is ila where it should be no so this is how you do like spreading and destructing of objects and array in this tutorial if you like haven't got anything uh, particularly so you can like comment down below and if you like uh, this video if you got it like if you found it informative for you then please uh, hit the like button uh, uh, down below as well as please don't forget to subscribe my channel so i can like keep post uh, videos like this to share my knowledge and uh, that's it guys see you next time